Hi guys, it's shopping day. I am so excited. I feel like I haven't been, let me take off my glasses. I feel like I haven't been to um, the mall in ages, but I'm here now, so I'm happy. Um, okay, let's start this video proper. Hi guys, it's Timmy with Yellow Spark Joy. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a shop with me. Yes, this time I am actually shopping for something. I asked that the store order an item in because it wasn't available in the store and I wanted to see it. So you guys are going to get to see it with me for the first time. So yes, I am going to coach. I might go to Zara, but definitely coach first and then we'll see what else happens. I'm going to try to show you guys as much goodies as I can. Um, Okay, so let me stop walking for a bit so I can show you my outfit. I'm wearing this Zara blazer, a guest shirt. I'm carrying my coach bag. This is the first time I'm carrying this bag anywhere. And then I have my long shop because I needed some extra stuff with me. And yeah, basically that's just the entire outfit. I also have my coach shoes on. And so yeah, let's get to coach and do some shopping. So right when I walk in, they have the pillow medicines on display. Now I expected to see uh, more of the newer items like the tea rose rogues or the ruby satchels. But you know, sometimes Canada shipment is delayed because of um, our um, customs. So yeah, they have the pillow medicines, which is nice because I haven't seen these yet. And so I brought my um, regular medicine to just to check and compare and see sizing color so here is my madison shoulder bag in heather gray and i'm comparing it to the quilted pillow madison in dove gray and look the hardware is really really similar i mean in um real life it's slightly different but they're very very similar and in size you can see that the strap length or the strap drop on the new pillow medicine is a little bit longer than the ones on the regular medicine so not much difference in size they are comparable the pillow medicine is a bit bigger just to accommodate the quilting but they probably have the same capacity and here are the um, pillow tabbies in the size 18 they re-released these for this spring and summer which is cool they have some new um, colors like the pale pistachio and then here is the ivory in the small size and the big size very cute and puffy and then here we have the camera bags in the spring colors pale pistachio and um, candy pink I think that's the color I think so and then you also have the ivory and the black and it is $350 Canadian Why am I screaming? <laughs> Why am I screaming? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this bag is beautiful. Oh my god. Ah. I can see why everybody likes the papaya. I can see the neutral the neutrality of mm -hmm. it. But it's so bright. But the blue is just there's no So that was me gushing over the Cashin Toad 32. <laughs> when my SS brought it out, I had told them when I got to the store not to show me until I was done filming. But they brought it out as a total surprise and it was really I don't, I don't know how to describe it i was just very very excited so this is the bag i ordered in it did not come to my store it only went to select stores in canada so my store manager ordered for a store transfer from vancouver to calgary and then they got both colors in so that i could see them in person and decide on which i wanted to buy so very very beautiful bag i am obsessed i am very happy with my choice
I absolutely love this bag. I like that it is just one open tote, one open compartment. I love that it is light. It's actually more lightweight than I thought it was going to be. I like the fact that it's just one color. Yes, the blue fin has um, white contrast stitching, but I don't mind that. I really think it adds to the color. That blue is just so beautiful. Coach, I don't think has ever done blue in such a beautiful shade before. The bag does come with two straps, a thin leather strap and a wider um, fabric strap, webbed strap, which I think is really, really nice. okay so back to the rest of the bags in the store here is the pillow medicine in a light coral and um, the store lighting is a bit yellow but yeah this is definitely the light coral color and the quota pillow medicine retails for 595 dollars canadian Here are the Soft Tabby Hobo and the Swinger 20 in um, Jacquard, signature Jacquard in the brown color. And then here you have the Tabby Hobo in this olive green type color. I'm not sure if that's the official name of the color, but yeah. Nice bag if you like big bags. And this retails for 495 Canadian dollars. Here is the soft tabby shoulder bag in the black and at first when this bag came out I didn't really like it but I um, after seeing the black I think I really really like the black here it is in pale pistachio with that contrast um, petunia web strap which I think is a really nice combination of colors but definitely after seeing the black I like it it's not as tabby as the other tabby bags if that makes sense the tab is not as annoying to me and this one is $4.95 so the tab is not as annoying to me as the other tabby bags which is why I don't like the tabbies I just can't get over at that tab here is the Willis I love the Willis I think it is such a classic bag and you know I love structured bags I can't say that enough so here it is in this beautiful 1941 saddle in smooth leather I think this is just so gorgeous crossbody i'll show it later in the video but it's one of their um, newer crossbody styles and here is the hero lots of people love love this hero i think it's just like an updated version of the riley bags but if i were to pick one this would be my favorite because of this um, uncoated canvas material i just think it is so beautiful especially in this natural brown type color or beige and then with that contrasting brown smooth leather i just think this is very equestrian and i love that about it and this one retails for 695 canadian dollars And this cutie here is the Kira crossbody. Here you have the um, Hero crossbody. So I'm just going to show you the size comparison. 
between the hero crossbody and the hero top handle and it has the 1941 hang tag so that's always really nice and here it is in the petunia the color for the season that's a gorgeous gorgeous pink just showing a size comparison with the Kira. I love this um, horse and carriage print with the petunia accents. And this one retails for 195 Canadian dollars. The Charter backpack in the petunia. Oh, I'm not sure if this color is petunia as well, but yes, awesome um, backpack. If you're into backpacks, this pebble leather is gorgeous i love coach pebble leather because when it becomes soft and slouchy it is just so beautiful and they have it in black and in the signature coated canvas love this uncoated canvas feel tote i actually love the feel tote i just don't have any but i do think it's a beautiful style bag here is the hero crossbody in the papaya another color for the season i love this color same color as the cashing to 32 there you have the matching t-shirts also in white and in black with the horse and carriage logo on there here are the field toes this came earlier in spring actually it was still um late winter when this came out and here it is in the blue fin and in the petunia and in the papaya you have the backpacks, the crossbody, and the beautiful hero. This is a gorgeous color. I'm going to say it again. The exact same blue fin as the Cash in Tote 32. Look at that. I almost want to buy this um, hero just because it's the same color. But I'm not going to, I promise you. And here is the strap um, in the Cash in 32 compared to the strap in the hero. Practically the same thing in my opinion. So if you have both, you can actually mix and match with the webbed strapping from the cashin and put that on the um, hero crossbody. If that's a look you like, yeah, sure. Beautiful little bag, this one. I, I think I prefer the crossbody to the um, top handle. And this one is 495 Canadian dollars. Here's a nice print for spring. This is the spring print at the uh, retail. So they have several different um, leather goods in that print. And then they have this willow tote, which is so cute. This is the willow tote in the size 24 with the yellow florals for spring. And then this is the mini cashing tote in chalk. This is not new. I can just see myself doing some coach create designs on this bag. It'll be so cute. big willow tote and the baby willow tote and the willow bucket bag and the willow shoulder bag i think yeah the entire willow family is right there <laughs> and this is the win crossbody you can see it properly now um i like this bag i think it'll be great for travel because of the size it retails for 275 canadian dollars um, yeah, I just think because of the slim profile, it would be nice to travel with because you can switch up from day to night. You know, you can wear a crossbody when you're exploring during the day and you can take the straps off and carry it handheld or as a clutch for night. So, yeah. You have the Alana tote here. Very nice leather on this. A very big bag. It'll probably fit like a medium-sized laptop, and then a lot of other items as well. So, yeah.
and here are the studio bags I'm really surprised that these are at the back of the store already I feel like these just came out a minute ago <laughs> and then already there are like a million and other one other styles that are um, more recent more current I mean that's just what trends are about I guess but yeah really I don't know it just I just felt sad for the studio bag although I never really liked it but it was st it's still a cute bag I like that um the closure I like the closure I think it's really cute it's very retro and you can see it comes in all different fabrics so you have the quilted one the, the quilted version you have the canvas version there's the leather there's the um, embossed croc this is the embossed croc version in beautiful beautiful colors so I like this one with what looks like black copper hardware I think I just like the black on black and then I like the fact that this bag actually has um, sort of like a clochette. So this is $5.95 Canadian dollars. Um, it has a key hood, I think is what I, I would rather want to call that feature on the side of the bag. And I think that's a nice add on to an otherwise simple bag. So yeah, that's the hang tag there. And then that's the key hood right there i didn't know it had that until i saw it in store so yeah here is the rogue in size 30 black um, pebble leather very gorgeous bag my store doesn't get size 30s often or what's um, coach calls the rogue so this is the regular rogue size they don't really put a number behind it but it is a 30 or a thir some of them measured 31 but I think this is just a yummy yummy leather that black pebble is just so beautiful especially when it's softened up a bit yeah it's definitely beautiful so here is the size 25 um, beside the size 30 so you can see a size comparison there and then we have this huge one I think this is the 40 I'm not sure now but really big and it went really well with my outfit So I'm in the men's section, we've seen the card holders and the wallets in beautiful colors for spring. And this bag here just caught my attention. I don't know, it just felt really nice to touch for $6.95 Canadian dollars. I think it is a very nice sort of playful bag in my opinion. I don't know, I just looked, liked it. Something about it just caught my attention. And these Gotham Hall totes are also very popular. I think mostly because it came out in a yellow for spring. And so both um, men and women have really been interested in the Gotham Hall tote this season.
store and I was very ready to take my new purchase and leave but then um, I just decided that I wanted to put a hand tag a custom hand tag on my bag because I just thought it would be really nice and something to just make the bag pop on occasions where I don't want it to be just a uh, one single color so I decided to get a big hang tag so there are two sizes of hang tags that you can get the big size and the small size I decided to get the big size in the um, chalk and monogram that with my name Alright guys, I am done for today. I did buy quite a number of items, but it was worth it. Um, I'm on my way home now. I had an amazing time at Coach. So yeah, if you enjoyed this type of videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please, 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 please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!